Hey guys welcome back. So in this video we're going to discuss how to use data validation to create list hierarchies. So here in our situation we've got two columns one of them is the category and the other one is the name and we've got some dishes basically and along under four main categories either chicken or bee, fish or salad. And what we want to achieve is to basically have the list of categories under the category column here. And when we select a category from the list we would have the dishes under that particular category appear on the list under the dish name. So creating a hierarchy. So basically in order to do that we need to use named ranges and in Excel you can create a named range. If you select a list of cells for example and then type the name of the named range here so I can type category for example. And as you can see here now the named range category contains this list but I'm just going to press Ctrl and Z on my keyboard and undo that. And you can also select the list of cells that you want to name the named range and then go to the form. It is stop on the ribbon go to a manager click on you and type the name of the named range select the cells that it refers to and click OK and you can do that certainly for all these lists because we need to create actually five named range just for all these lists. But we're actually going to use a faster way to do that. So to do that you can actually select all the cells here and then you can go to the formulas on the ribbon click on create form selection and here you have the option to create named ranges from values. In either the top row of the left column bottom row or right column where she can use the values in the top row because we want the named ranges to be named after the values in the top row. So here we want this list here containing chicken, beef, fish and solid to be named category and then this list of chicken dishes to be named chicken and so on and so forth. So we will click OK and now we have seen 9 ranges here so we have beef for these items. Chicken for these items and so on and so forth. So now we have our name ranges. OK so now that we've created our name ranges it's time to carry our lists. So let's create the first list for the category which is going to be very easy we've done that before. We're going to select the whole column here and then go to data and the data validation and they're under. The allow option here we're going to select list and the source instead of selecting the cells for the category. We're actually going to write equals category so if you do that we're actually going to get the list from the category named range that we've created before so if you click ok you can see here that each cell in column a now contains the list of items in the category name range and it actually contains some empty cells as well because these two cells have been put in the category named range and we will see how to get rid of the empty cells shortly but for now we can select a category here from this list now the other list we need to create a hierarchical list based on that listing column a so in case we select chicken we need to have this list reflect the chicken recipes. OK. So in order to do that we're going to use a function called indirect. So basically we're going to select column B here and then go to data validation again and then under. The allow option here to select list. And then in the source here we're going to write a formula and we're going to use the indirect function. We're going to write equals indirect and then we're going to select cell 1 but we need to sell 1. Do not be locked because in this case when we're typing the formula it's like we're typing the formula in cell B1 because cell 1 is the first cell in the column. So think about it here because when you are selecting the column B it's like you're typing the formula in cell B1 because cell 1 is the first cell in the column. So actually this rule is going to be applied to all the cells. So cell B2 is going to be in direct ETU and in cell B3. It's going to be indirect A3 and so on and so forth. And what the indirect function does is that it takes the reference here as a string or as a text end. It will convert it to an actual named range. So in this case when we have the list and cell B2 is going to take indirect of cell ETU which is indirect. Chicken. And it's going to be actually the named range of chicken. So it's list and so BE2 will have the chicken recipes or the chicken dishes. So we're going to click OK here and is easier and so we to have our chicken recipes. Now if you select beef here for example in cell E3 we will have our beef recipes or the dishes. 
So this is how you can create this hierarchical effect and you can actually extend that so you can have another level of hierarchy if you create a third column and use the indirect function as we did. Well you can create a third level of hierarchy if you want to. Ok so let's see how to remove these empty entries here. So it's very easy to remove these empty entries on the list. So in order to do that we're going to select our range here that we used to create our name drainages. And then we're going to go to the home top on the ribbon and we're going to go to find and select option. Here and then go to special and what we want to do is to select these blank cells actually and delete them. So we're going to select blanks here and click OK. Now we've selected our blank cells. We're going to right click delete and we're going to shift cells up and click OK. And now our blank cells have been deleted and they're going to be deleted from the main granges as well. So here as you can see here we've removed our blank cells and in all categories we're not going to have any blank entries on the list. So this is how you can create a hierarchical effect using data validation. Guys thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.